Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I have a 4th of July party DIY for you using supplies from the Dollar Tree and Target Dollar Spot. The first item we're going to use is our tablecloth. I got this um, at Target, actually in their party aisle, and it is a mermaid print. And I thought this would be really fun. I want to do a coastal 4th of July party theme this year. And it's a little better quality than the ones that you're going to get at Dollar Tree. Fairly thick. So this is my party table, and we're going to go ahead and start setting it up. I love this. I kind of want to do like a red, white, and aqua today. So I think this tablecloth will do nicely. But to add a little texture to it, I thought I would also use one of these fishing nets from the Dollar Tree just to kind of toss on top of that tablecloth to give it a little bit more texture since I'm using plastic instead of fabric just for another little fun coastal touch for this 4th of July party. So I'm just gonna use the whole piece, just kind of shake it out a little bit. I'm not a big fan of this fishing net, but for a table co cover, it will work fantastic. So I'm just gonna kind of haphazardly throw it where like one end is longer than the other and um, just provides a little bit more texture. So I'm gonna try to do, you know, I have the mermaid scales, or I guess they could be fish scales. So I'm just gonna try to bring that aqua in a lot. I picked up two helium balloons, the red star and the aqua star at Dollar Tree. I thought those would be perfect for a red, white, and aqua, 4th of July. And I just need to make a weight for my balloon. So I'm gonna use this little red bottle that I picked up at Dollar Tree and kind of make it a little bit cuter for like a balloon weight. So we'll just decorate that up a little bit. I add, wanted to add a little bit of a 4th of July touch to it. So I'm just gonna use a window decal. I'm gonna cut the flag off of the back of this truck and we'll just use that to decorate the red bottle. It will just stick to the glass so easily and it'll be so easy to remove so that I can use this for another project. So I thought this bottle was really cute. I kind of wanted some different colors, but red is gonna have to do for that. Then for a little coastal touch, I thought one of these little um, clip-on mermaids from the Shore Living line at Dollar Tree would be cute here at the top as well. And then I got some of that glitter white coral from the Dollar Tree as well. It's kind of a 4th of July flower. And um, I'm gonna use that to tie the strings of the balloon to. And then I'm gonna stick that down into the bottle just to kind of create a weight out of a decorative piece as well. So I'm simply gonna tie that on there, like kind of stagger them in different heights above my party table. I was a little worried that wouldn't be heavy enough, but it was actually fine. And so this is the first thing we have ready for our 4th of July party table. So let's start decorating. I'm gonna kind of put it in the back over on the left-hand side on top of the fishnet there. And the those are the tallest things I used today. I'm thinking about adding some red um, cardboard stars that I got from the Dollar Tree as well, hanging from that curtain rod, but I haven't done that yet. Okay, our next DIY. I have three of these pots from the Dollar Tree, the Shore Living Line, three different ones, coastal. I think there's a starfish, a seahorse, and this one, a crab. But I don't like the little finish that they have on there. It's like they kind of whitewashed the, the metal pot to give it like a, you know, like kind of a fake coastal look. I don't like it at all. So I'm just using some fingernail polish remover and it took that paint right off. And it gave me like a glossy, shiny pot 
And I like that a lot more. I want to use a lot of this shiny silver metal today and a lot of the projects. And so these will be perfect now. So all it took was just a little bit of fingernail polish remover and a paper towel and it all wiped off, even like down in the cracks between um, the little embossed pictures on each one. And I think they look way better like this. Now to take them up a notch, I thought I would paint the little characters that are on the front. This is how they look all shiny and spiffy now. And I wanna do a project here with these three planters and I want to do red, white, and aqua. So the crab really should be red. So we're gonna do the crab in red. And I'm just using one of my paint pens and trying to simply um, paint where it's embossed up. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to kind of make it look like a crab. And it's super forgiving. So I kinda, I'm gonna do the little starfish around there as well. I just think this makes it so much easier to see it than the embossed and it's gonna go with my red, white, and blue theme as well. So the crab one looks good. Let's do the seahorse in aqua. I love this color of paint pen. I think I got this one at Target in their craft supply area. Isn't it pretty? I love this one. And so just kind of filling in the seahorse. The seahorse isn't stamped real well, but we'll do what we can do here. And don't these look so much better without that like white glaze stuff on there? You know, I, I have a total of four of these kind of um, pots that we're gonna use today from the Shore Living line. And I haven't used them really because I didn't really like them, but without that white glaze on there, I like them a lot better. Now for the last pot, we're gonna do the starfish in white. I wanna have like red, white, and aqua things in these pots. And so I thought it would be perfect to have these little things all red, white, and aqua as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we can go ahead and start building these. Um, I'm gonna use some of the green of floral foam from the Dollar Tree. These are the ones that come in a four pack. And even though they are square and our pots are circle, they work really well because the tension, you don't have to make it go all the way to the end of the pot. I still had to use two in each pot just to kind of fill up most of the depth there in the pot. And then to cover up the green foam and make it look a little bit nicer, I'm gonna go in with some of the Spanish moss, also from Dollar Tree, and just do a thin layer on top of each pot. And then I bet you thought we were gonna use flowers for these flower pots, but no, we're gonna use flamingos. I thought this would be a really fun theme for our coastal 4th of July. So I picked up three of these little pink flamingos from the Dollar Tree, and I thought I would paint them a red, white, and aqua to go with our theme. So they have little metal legs you can just pull out, and then I'm just gonna start painting these. I used chalk paint by Waverly just because I thought that chalk paint is gonna stick to this plastic a little bit better and give me really good coverage to cover up that hot pink. This one was probably the easiest, turning it from pink to red. And it almost looks like a real flamingo because, you know, flamingo pink varies. Like, there can be some really deep pink flamingos. So I'm just going all over both sides. I'm using a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree. I didn't have great luck with that. It was losing a lot of bristles. I've noticed either these are fantastic and I love them for distressing, or they just lose bristles like crazy. I don't know. I don't know why they're so inconsistent. But I did use a brush and I went all over the, and then um, I left the beak orange. Now flamingo number two is gonna be our white one. This is actually ivory chalk paint and I'm gonna go over and paint it exactly the same way, trying to get all the bristles off. Again, the, the, these brushes were not a great idea. You could totally use a real paintbrush or a foam paintbrush would work well too. They have a nice like plastic molded feather pattern on them, 
So I thought a brush would get down in the grooves a little bit better, but these just weren't giving me that. <laughs> so I'm just going all over again. I'm leaving the beak exposed. I think that's cute um, to look like that. I just kind of want the flamingos to be the different colors. And then we have flamingo number three. This one is going to be the blue one. I'm I wanted to use chalk paint, of course, so I'm using agave. It's kind of the closest that I could get with a chalk paint. I probably should have made a custom chalk paint because once I got this on, the agave kind of dries like kind of a medium blue, and I really wanted it to be a light blue. So you will see after I set this all up, I am going to go back and lighten this up a little bit because I wasn't real happy with it. When it goes on wet, it looks light blue, but it does dry a little bit darker. So again, just going all over. There are like some random holes in this. I don't know why. I mean, there's the holes for the legs, but there's also like holes in the neck, I guess for the tag and the tail and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna kind of ignore those and just keep painting all of our little flamingos. And I love this project. I've been kind of collecting these pink flamingos and I knew I wanted to do something with them and I just didn't know what. And so I thought these were perfect for our 4th of July. I haven't had very many new videos come out this week and it's because I've been trying to organize my stash. Target's been having some really good deals on storage cubes and I'm having a lot of luck. So the more organized I am, the easier it is to craft for sure. Now I'm just gonna paint the eyes back on with a little a black um, paint pen. And I also kind of have a yellow paint pen about the same color as the beak that I can use to touch up the beak on these if I got any paint on them as well. And we have our red, white, and blue flamingos. So I thought about matching the colors, red to red, white to white, aqua to aqua, but then I thought it would be more interesting if I kind of mixed and matched. So we're just gonna pop these little metal legs back in there. The galvanized metal is perfect because that's kind of gonna go with my metal theme. And we are just gonna stand up this guy like he's standing in our pot. They're a little tricky. You kind of have to maneuver them a little bit to get them standing the right the way you want them. And then I'm gonna do the white flamingo in the pot with the blue paint on there. Just kind of making it a little bit more random. And we're gonna pop his legs on and stand him up as well. I want to display these on my table and I kind of want them to be all varied heights and provide a fun decoration for my party table. So you'll see in just a second how we're gonna do that. So here is the blue one in the remaining pot and we have all of our potted flamingos. They really turned out so cute. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use. I got this at the Target dollar spot for $5. It is a plant stand, but I thought it was perfect. They're all different sizes, but that's okay. I just kind of want the different heights. And so we're gonna stand this back here in the other corner of our party table to place the pots on. Now the smallest circle there is like, um, barely fits uh, one of the pots, but it, def it definitely stays on there. Cause they're all, all different diameters. So we're just gonna stack our little flamingos on there. And I like how this kind of staggered them so that you can see all of them. I think they turned out really cute. So we have our red and our white and our aqua is coming. I still had it in that dark agave color. That's when I was like, hmm, you can tell it's a little bit darker than I was going for when comparing it to that light aqua tablecloth. So I went back in and I just took some turquoise and some white and I lightened it up because I wasn't really happy with it. And then I just have to draw the eyes back on it. And then it was perfect. One thing being the wrong color like that can throw the vibe off for me. Okay, up next. Check out this adorable little picnic basket that I just got at the Target Dollar Spot for $5. They have a couple varieties. This is the one with the lid. They also have one like a basket without a lid. 
And I thought this would be the perfect way to display my party plates. And so to line it, I'm going to use one of these patriotic bandanas from the Dollar Tree. This one's perfect because it has that like red and white gingham picnic print, but it's also got like the blue stars. So I'm just going to kind of lay it um, with like a diagonal coming out of the front. I'm going to kind of pull it through and just kind of line that a little bit so that there's a little bit more decoration and the plates are not just laying in the picnic basket. My son loved this picnic basket. He thought it was really cute. He wants to go on a picnic with it. I don't know how much it would hold, but it is adorable. I love it. Now for the lid, I thought it would be fun to decorate it with an American flag. So this is one of the American flags from the Dollar Tree. Come, I think it comes in a three pack. And I'm just gonna cut it off the pole. So we have just the flag fabric. And I thought that would be a fun decoration for the lid. I'm gonna have the lid open like that. So a little flag will be peeking out and give us a little bit of traditional USA flag there. I'm just gonna attach it with a very tiny dot of hot glue on each corner so that it will be easy to pull off without destroying this adorable little picnic basket. I love it, it's so cute. They have so much cute stuff at the dollar spot right now. At Target, I am in love. I've had to say no to a lot of pieces because I want them all, they're so cute. And I'm just tacking down the other side. And we have a very easy little plate holder for our 4th of July party table. So cute. Now for party plates, instead of using paper plates, which you totally could, I got some of these melanine plates. They have these at Target for 50 cents right now. And this beautiful aqua color. And I thought for 50 cents, what a bargain. And you're gonna have like a real plate, not something that's gonna be like super flimsy. So I'm just gonna sit them in there and we have a little plate display with a cute patriotic flag. And I am in love with that little basket, so cute. Okay, what's next? Napkins. So I have another one of those Shore Living Pots from Dollar Tree and it's got that white, it's almost like a film all over it too. So I'm going to clean it exactly the same way I did the three pots with just a paper towel and some fingernail polish remover and get all that film off there and it's going to leave me this really pretty shiny pot. I like it so much better. I'm so glad that I thought to do this. And I am going to go ahead and just use this to pile my napkins in. I got some of those flag napkins from the Dollar Tree as well. And this is a perfect size pot to hold those. But I thought we could decorate it a little bit with our red, white, and aqua. So I'm just going to use some paint pens to kind of fill it in. It says wish upon a starfish, which is super cute. And it's really easy to paint this on with the paint pens. You're just kind of kind of follow along where um, it's raised. And actually not hard at all. But we're also gonna do a few aqua touches. And then I'm gonna outline that big starfish in red. And I'm just gonna do this on one side of the pot. Now if I wanna go back and reuse this pot for another um, DIY, it would be really easy to remove this paint with some more of that fingernail polish remover. That worked really well to clean these pots. So uh, that's all there is to it. We have a very cute, very easy um, napkin holder. So we're just gonna load it up. I'm gonna kind of do the stripes up to kind of bring out some more red and white. Cause I'm not using that color of blue a lot just for the flag kind of on the back of the plate holder and inside the plate basket. So there we go, easy peasy. So let's add this to our party table. I end up kind of moving it around, but we're gonna sit it here for now. Now I wanted to make a really cool like utensil holder for the plastic cutlery. And I'm gonna use three of these little metal tin buckets from the Dollar Tree. 
And we're going to make something really kind of unique. So I got like the red bucket has star cutouts. I actually got that with the Juneteenth decorations and not 4th of July, which was kind of weird. Um, but I guess that kind of went with the colors for that as well. And then I just got the silver bucket and the aqua bucket back like my, my store has it in the party supply. And then just to dress those two up a little bit, I just added some fireworks window clings to the front. The one with the red star cutouts doesn't need anything. It's perfect for 4th of July. Then I thought I would make a little tiny um, cutlery tray with one of these hanging um, shelves from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut the rope off one side and then just leave the rope on the other side so we can make little handles for our little tiny tray. And this worked really well. So I'm just gonna pull that through and kind of tie it off to size where I have a little handle. And this works well because to pick up this tray, you can just use the little handles and it's gonna pick up all of your plastic silverware as well. And I have the perfect spot on my table. It's real kind of a thin area, so this is gonna fit nicely in there. Now I'm gonna to try to um, center these. I'm just gonna use a dot of hot glue on each side of the bucket and kind of press that down. I don't know if I want that to be perfect or permanent. I like to reuse these pots for so many different projects, especially the one with the window clings because I can just pull those off to use them for another DIY. So we have them all glued down and now we can just fill those up with our plastic silverware. I always like to use the clear plastic silverware because it goes with every holiday and every color scheme. You don't have to worry about having all these different colors that don't match. So we have our forks, we have our knives, and we have our spoons. And this worked out really perfect. I really like this. Perfect for silverware for the party tray. So it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and slide that on the party table as well. We're gonna put it right here in front of our penguins and the red, silver, and blue kind of gives me that red, white, and aqua vibe. Okay, up next, check out this cool little lantern. I got this at Target back in their lawn department. They have everything like 70% off back there right now. I think it was only like $3, and it's a really nice lantern and a beautiful aqua color. Now, I thought we could decorate this and not only use it as a lantern, but also kind of make it into a sign for our party table because I don't have a lot of space on my party table. And I'm going to use one of these fours from the dollar spot at Target. Those are on clearance right now for 50 cents. And then I wanted to say happy fourth. So the, the wood letters were a little too big. So I'm going to try some of these galvanized metal letters from the Dollar Tree and just pick out like a TH so that it will say happy fourth. And I think that looks really cute. Now I don't want it to be like um, just the wood and the aqua. I thought I would bring in a little red too to kind of make it look a little bit more patriotic. So I'm going to take that wood letter four and just some candy apple paint and red and do a very quick kind of slappy coat all over the top of it. And then I think I'll leave the T and H in their galvanized metal to kind of go with the metal theme we have going today. And I'm just gonna put it on the front of the lantern so it'll kind of glow out with a four and just attaching all of these with just a very tiny dot of hot glue so that I'll be able to pop them off and reuse this lantern for something else. This, this would be great out in my Florida room for sure. So I'm gonna kind of, I guess, have to put the handle in the back so you can read it, but I thought I would make a little lid for the top. I'm gonna be using a battery operated candle in there so it's not gonna need to have an open top. And so I'm gonna use just some of that raw wood in the square shape from the Dollar Tree, the Crafter Square, and this word happy that I also got at Dollar Tree. And we're gonna paint this in that same candy apple red using a makeup sponge so that I don't get any bleeding down the side. And I love these little chunky letters from the Dollar Tree. They're so cute. 
So we have that painted red. Now this is, I'm just gonna leave this the raw wood. It's just a matter of getting that tag off the top. And it had some like really rough edges. And, and so I'm gonna sand that down a little bit. And it had a rough back too. So I'm just gonna have that side go down. And I'm simply gonna attach it to the lid with the two P's that point down with some hot glue. And we have a little lid for our lantern that's also gonna help us spell out happy fourth for more like a party sign. Now it's time to put it all together. I need a little bit more height, so I'm gonna use one of these little wood risers, also from the dollar spot at Target. I got that there, I think last fall and we're ready to put a candle in there. I'm gonna use one from the Dollar Tree, one of these taller battery operated candles. It's not quite as bright as the ones that are a little bit more expensive, but I think it'll do. So we're gonna turn that on, put that down inside our little lantern, and then we have our little lid that says happy. And this is how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back of the party table because I kind of want this to be kind of a background feature decoration. And we're gonna put our lantern on top. I do go back and turn that bottom piece so that it is the same width as the lantern. I like it that way a little bit better. And then for the lid, we have happy. And this worked out perfectly. I'm so glad I did it. Gave me a little bit more height to the back of my party table. And it says happy fourth. So it brings in a nice, 4th of July decoration as well. And this is how it looks turned. And that project is complete. Okay, I also got this at the Target Dollar Spot for $5 right now. It's one of their galvanized metal party trays. It is like really big. This would be perfect to use Cricut vinyl on. I'm not gonna decorate it though because I wanna use this as like a drink tray. So I'm just gonna use some red plastic cheap party cups. You can find those anywhere. Perfect for 4th of July too. And I wanna do a red, white, and aqua. Now see this, I got this at Target Dollar Spot for 50 cents on clearance. They say it's a swan, but I'm gonna pretend like it's a, it's a flamingo. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it in the white color. And I thought that would be a fun little holder for our party straws. These are the red and white star straws from Dollar Tree. And then I thought it would be fun to also mix in some shore living ones with the sea creatures on there. And there's also a blue stripe. So perfect for 4th of July. And I'm just trying to mix those all together. The pot is a little small, but I didn't think it needed to be too big for just to hold straws. But I'm trying, I probably should have mixed them before I put them in there, but just trying to mix them all up and that worked perfectly. Now for beverages, I also got this little aqua plastic pitcher from Dollar Tree, and I think that finishes off our red, white, and aqua theme perfectly for our drink tray. My pitcher's empty, I'm just setting this up in advance. Now we just need a few more coastal touches, so I thought I would use these white starfish from the Dollar Tree and just scatter them all about the table to for a star and another fun coastal touch for our party table. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment your favorite project below, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, I know you're ready for the final reveal, but first I wanna give a huge super thanks to the following viewers for giving me kind super thanks underneath my videos. It's a great way to support your favorite creator where you can leave a tip as little as $2 with a little thanks button below this video. Thank you so much. And now here is the final reveal. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Put out all of the fire If it gets 